Well, today's solar eclipse, it is really a dream come true for scientists all around the country, and they're getting a rare opportunity to study a solar eclipse. While our News 3's chief meteorologist, JC Brienne, she's on SIU's campus, and she is with a special guest from GMA this morning. JC, who are you with this morning? Rachel, we are just so excited to be here, and of course, we are here with the one and only Ginger Z. I cannot believe it. It's going to be awesome. So, Ginger, you've been all over the country, you know, tracking weather and big events. What is it going to be like today? I was saying, you know, my producers and I do this, and we do long, long coverage of, like, hurricanes. And we were all saying, yes, we're going to treat it like a hurricane as far as we're going on for 13 hours straight. But what a beautiful moment to be under gorgeous clear skies and have a chance at seeing something that can unify America. Like this is so different than anything we get to do regularly. I know you work very hard and do some terrible stories and do, you know what I'm saying? Like it's usually so negative. So to be able to do this, celebrate STEM and all of the stuff that I love as a meteorologist, the atmosphere and everything that happens beyond is, uh, it's a blessing. It's amazing. And were you able to be a part of the 2017 eclipse at all? I was in Nashville and we were right there in the path of totality. And this is a very funny story because it was one cloud that blocked our two minutes no. and then my husband was five miles away at his studio and he saw it perfectly and he doesn't even care so today I'm hoping that we get not the one cloud we've also got longer as everybody knows so I feel like it's got to be lucky we're in the absolutely. crossroads of Eclipse America here yes absolutely and so how does it feel to be able to be here at you know such a big event how do you think something like this promotes science and stem just in the community I mean, everything from the data sets that scientists will be collecting during this very unique moment, uh, because those data sets go into computer modeling. They help with um, the future of hundreds of years of science. Things that have been learned in eclipses are things that we've used like in depth. So that's exciting. But then for the, the inspiration, that triggering moment that a lot of people have for why they want to do what they do. For me, it was seeing storms across Lake Michigan. Perhaps today we, we have a lot of astronomers born. <laughs> Absolutely, and we would love to have that, you know, have more people in STEM. You know, when it comes to the weather aspect, people talk about the temperature drop, maybe some of the clouds clearing. Can you talk to me about that a little bit? Of course. I think everyone's seen that the temperature drops, but what's significant, it can go up to 15 plus degrees. Wow. That's really fast in four minutes. So the impacts are wind, both direction and speed. And I think the feeling from everyone, from the umbrophiles, that's people who look at eclipses <laughs> often, or go chase them, uh, they tell me that the feeling is different than a regular temperature drop. So you're going to see that relative humidity will change, all of it. it, it it's, it's like going to night in seconds, right? And so being able to see how that impacts weather, that's why on a micro scale, they're going to be able to put this into potential modeling and help us in science going forward. Well, thank you so much for being out here with us today. And I hope you guys have a great time. Hey, this is a, this is a great way to be in Southern Illinois. I love it. I went to school at Valparaiso, Indiana. That's where I studied meteorology. So anytime I'm back down here in the Midwest, Mid-South, I'm happy. All right. Well, thank you so much, Ginger. And for now, I'm going to send it back to you guys in the studio. Rachel?